everyone. Um, I'm doing a little bit different um, a video today. I guess you can call it a haul. Um, I made a discovery, um, I guess you could say, for lack of a better term, uh, last week. And that is this beautiful thing called the library book sale. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe the fantastic stuff that I got for under $20. I mean, I'm, I have it sitting right here in front of me, and I see a stack of two Blu-ray movies. I think it's four DVDs, a Wii game, at least 20 different books for the kids, and I think my total was $18. Oh, my gosh. I mean, you'll pay that for one movie. So, I mean, this is just something that I have never gone to before and I think I'm going to become a library book sale junkie because it was just so much fun. The kids and I, we all three of us went and it was just so much fun watching them be able to go through these piles of books and just everyone that it, it was such a good feeling as a mom everyone they brought to me mommy can I get this and it was a quarter and it's like of course you can get it it's a book and it's 25 cents so they had a lot of fun picking out the stuff and we got to expand our library um I want to for the summer while we're going to be out traveling around and you know, just on day trips and things I want to create like a box in our uh, SUV um of books that they can um look at while on the road just as something a little bit different um, for them so let me show you what I got I mean this is just absolutely amazing this is the first book my daughter picked this out and this is just so cute um, it's a little Sesame Street Elmo book clap your hands I mean it's just the little if you're happy and you know it song with the different things and I mean it's the little puppet I mean <laughs> this is so cute I mean you got Elmo here and he claps his hands and everything so she just loves this thing. I mean, it's so cute. She'll be sitting on the floor and she's sitting there with her book in her hand and she's, and she's singing the song and she's paint going through the pages. So it's just so cute. Um, so, I mean, just an example, publisher price on this thing is $9.95. I mean, that's $10. I paid a dollar for it. So, I mean, you can't beat it. And I love books. My kids have a ton of books, but it's one of those things where you just can't have enough. Um, so this was one she has definitely been playing with a lot over the past week. She's really enjoying it, which is, is always fun to see them enjoy a book. Okay, the next one that we got, um, this is, it's just a board book. Um, I think this one was a dollar too. I don't have a price on it. But um, it's my first real Mother, Gro Mother Goose board book. And it's just the different Mother Goose stories. So I thought this would be a good one just to toss in my purse because um, I don't carry enough stuff around me. But I'm a mom, so you know what that's like. So this will be good to have in my purse just to keep, keep them occupied um, at restaurants or whatever. So let's see. Next on my stack, which these were $2 a piece, I got two Blu-ray movies, um, Rango and Million Dollar Arm. Seen both of them. Really like them. This one is an excellent movie. Um, I think I've probably seen this five or six times and I don't get tired of it. It's, it's an excellent story and it's a true story. Um, and Rango, it's another good movie. Kids like that one too. So that will go into our collection. Um, then we got one music CD and it says that it's a kid CD, which I'm not really sure why they call it a kid CD because it's just Bob Marley music. Um, which the kids have been liking this too. Something a little bit different for them. A little bit more grown up for me, so it's not quite as annoying. Uh, then I am attempting to get in shape, and so I picked this up, I think it was $2, um, which even at the like the buybacks or um, uh, GameStop or anything like that, you're gonna pay at least $10, $10 I think for these, so $2 was a great deal. I haven't tried it out quite yet, haven't gotten up the nerve, but I have a feeling she's gonna be kicking my butt. Um, then we got three, I think there might be one more that might be somewhere else, but I'm not sure. These were a dollar a piece. Um, you got Alvin and the Chipmunks, the Squeakle, then a Strawberry Shortcake, and that's Cooking Up Fun, and then a Dinosaur Trains T-Rex Tales. Oh, and there was one more, it's a uh, Chuggington one. That one's actually in the living room on the TV right now because 
um, Tommy was watching it the other day. So those were only a dollar a piece. Another great deal. And the rest of what I have is the books. So let me just, I'm going to set this aside. And I'll show you what we got. We got the Magic School Bus Inside a Hurricane for a quarter. So uh, this is a little bit above um, the level where my kids are. They're just three and four. But this will be nice to have in the future. Then we have Dog in Boots. Which, I mean, this book is, like, brand new. I mean, it's a little bit curved up here on the top, but that was mainly because it was in a bag that I brought when I brought her home. But this this book has such cute pictures. Nice big pages. So I think we're really going to enjoy that. And that has a price of $4.99 on it. And that was a quarter. Um, then we have one, uh, Show Each Other Forgiveness. And this is a hardback book, and that was 50 cents. And again, just really cute, fun pictures. I think this will be good for the kids. Get to give a, a good message to them. Um, it says it's for children ages 4 to 10. So my son's just getting to that point where it would be good for him. Um, publisher price of $12.99. I mean, and it, it literally, it looks like a brand new book. I think a lot of these were actually donations um, to like the Friends of the Library organization because a lot of them, like these, these two here, um, they don't even have like the library uh, call tags on them or anything like that. Um, this one is Love Your Neighbors by the same company. Again, publisher price of $12.99 like brand new 50 cents then this one well this one was a library book because it has the thing on it but this book is actually an us born book which if you're familiar with us born at all you know that they are quite pricey but they're also very nice books the pages are so nice and thick on this it's a really nice book and we just look at those pictures absolutely beautiful um, I don't really know it doesn't give a price on it um, but I'm sure it's every bit of eight or nine dollars. So that's about rainforest. Again, not really, um, age appropriate quite yet for my son. I mean, we could, we could read through it, but he probably wouldn't, um, get too much out of it, but time will come where that will be perfect for him. That was 50 cents. And then this one is also an us born book and under the sea. Again, 50 cents, beautiful pictures, nice thick pages, just overall a really, really nice book for 50 cents. Then my son, he's four. Do you know what that means? Monster trucks, absolutely loves them. Um, and again, anything that's cars, the Disney cars, he absolutely loves. Um, and this actually still has the little 3D glasses in there. And, I mean, it's in great condition. I mean, no rips or tears or anything like that. Um, publisher price of $4.99. I don't think this was a library book because, again, it doesn't have the stickers on it. Then we have the Fisher Price Little People Big Book about bedtime. 50 cents. And, again, no stickers on it. So, I think it was another one that was a donation. But it's just really cute pictures and they're just little short little stories in here and poems and that sort of thing. Really nice pictures in it. Well, here's a couple pages are loose, but I can easily fix that. Get those taped back in. Hardback book, 50 cents. And my son definitely picked this one out. He saw this, got all excited about the school bus. This is the Fisher Price My Little People School Bus, a lift the flap playbook for 50 cents. Publisher price on the back of $7.99. And it's just all these little, little flat books. I'm sure you're all familiar with those if you have little ones. Which they, both my kids actually like to sit and uh, look at those sorts of books. Here it's nap time at school. So, just really cute. Then we have, I think this is one that made its way into the basket that I didn't even see. Uh, 
This is Dan Yacarino Go Go America. 50 cents, 50 states of fun. And this was a library book. This is actually really cute. This is awesome, actually. You have each page, it looks like, has a state and with a bunch of different information on there about the state. Um, here's my state, Ohio. We have a two page spread. Check that out. Just a bunch of different things. It looks like there's like uh, funny laws and any firsts that happen in the state. Um, Akron, which I live near Akron, uh, was the first city to use police cars in 1899. That's kind of neat seeing your pretty much hometown, uh, there in there. Um, oh, and did you know that in Ohio it is illegal to fish for whales on Sunday? Go figure. Good to know. I won't get in trouble for that. Uh, yeah, so this is a really cute book. One of the kids must have grabbed this or something. Um, it's a scholastic book and, oh, $17.99 for its original publisher's price. So for 50 cents, that's, that's a great deal. And we're going to have a lot of fun with that, I think, in the future. This one is called Oliver. And this has a plastic cover on it. It was a library book. And let's just peek in here. Oh, this is definitely age appropriate. Cute pictures. Nice big pictures that cover both pages of the spread. This one has a publisher price of $16.99 on it. I always like to see the savings. Um, and then this one is another Little Fisher price, uh, Little People Big Book about magical worlds. And let's see. Oh, the first page it has a poem by Shel Silverstein on it. So oops. that's awesome because I love Shel Silverstein. I enjoyed him as a child, and I still enjoy reading his stuff. But just really cute pictures. And I like these because they're just little short, little quick stories in there, so you can even grab the book and just read a page or two out of each one. Now this one is Penguins, Penguins Everywhere, and this was a library book. And it was 25 cents. I think in general, softbacks were 25 cents and hardbacks were uh, 50 cents. And I don't see a, a original price on this one. Then we have Let's Be Social, Make Friends. 50 cents. And it's just a, a book about making friends with different types of types of children different ages, different races, that sort of thing, things that you can have in common. So it definitely has a good message to it. Then I saw this and I had to have this for my daughter, um, Madeline. Every little girl needs a copy of Madeline. And I mean, that's an old classic. Absolutely love this book, 25 cents. Then we have a Chuggington book, original publisher price of $3.99. Then we have Ferris Wheel Fun, sing along CD and size. Let's see if the, no, the CD is missing, which that's, that's okay. Oh, but look how cute, look how cute that is. Just different, nice, big, colorful pictures, still like that. Um, it looks, oh, exclusively, uh, produced for the children's place, which I kind of, what caught my eye um, on this first page here when they're on the Ferris wheel. And right down here in the corner, you see a store that says the children's place, but you typically don't see that type of thing in a book. So $14.50 is the original price on that. Then we have What Lurks in the Swamp. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, this is like a like a plasticky type stuff. Um, scholastic books just talks about different creatures and animals and stuff that is found in the swamp. Uh, this was a $4.99 original price and it was 50 cents. Then we have, if you were, wow, that is a word that I'm not sure how to pronounce. Um, onomatopoeia or something like that. 
Um, this will be an interesting one to read. That, that's about as bad as a Dr. Seuss book there. But just really bright, colorful pages. Typical for kid books for little kids. Um, this was a library book. Reinforced Library Binding. So this is a book that was published specifically for um, library use. That was 50 cents. Then we have 999 Tadpoles. And again, this was a library book. Publisher price of $16.99 and I paid 50 cents. And this looks really cute too. It looks like it's just kind of looks like it's a story of what all these little tadpoles, what adventures they have found early in life, I guess you could say. Then we have this one looks really neat. The beautiful beetle book. This one publisher price is $17.95. And there's a lot of fun different things going on in here. Look at those pages. They're like iridescent. Talk about different kinds of beetles. This is the water. We're talking about the water beetles. Um, just all kinds of fun stuff. Educational, but fun. Then we have the leaves are falling one by one. Uh... I don't see a publisher price, but it was a quarter. Then we have Don't Be Greedy, Graham. A cautionary tale. And this is an Usborne book. And publisher price of $7.99. So another good message. Because especially the age that my kids are, it's easy for them to fall under that trap of being greedy. Um, then we have a Curious George book, which, of course, my son absolutely loves Curious George. He has from the time he was about eight months old. Um, so anytime we see anything Curious George, we have to buy it. And surprisingly, we did not have this book. So that worked out great. And that was a quarter. Then we have Bad Kitty. I believe my daughter picked this one out. She loves animals. So that looks like it's going to be a fun read. And then to go along with Bad Kitty... We have Poor Puppy. Um, looks like the bad kitty is up to no good with the puppy. So um, this one, a companion book or maybe like a second in a series or something like that. Um, and both of these have publisher prices of $3.99 and I paid a quarter. Then we have Where Does the Bathwater Go? I thought that was going to be really interesting. Um, because the kids always like watching the bath water go down the drain. And it just talks about different uh, things about water, stored where water is stored, with the water tower, different uses, that sort of thing. And actually, I'm looking at the back here. This looks so it looks like a really interesting series. Um, there's where does electricity come from? Where does our food come from? Where does the recycling go? Where does the mail go? And where does the garbage go? So that actually looks like a very good series. Um, if I were able to find some more of these, it would be good for the kids to learn some different things about everyday mysteries. Um, so yeah, that one was 25 cents. Just a few more. This one is If I Built a Car. Publisher price of $4.99. And it looks like this, this one is about a kid that decides that he could design a car better than somebody else than what already exists and it looks like he ends up building like a flying car check that out so that will be a lot of fun especially for my son um, my my husband's kind of a car junkie so this will go right along with things that my husband's already starting to teach my son um, about different things about cars uh, publisher price of $4.99 if I didn't mention that and then the last one, actually, my daughter picked out. She probably has no idea what to do with it yet because she just turned three. But it's one of these absolutely fantastic I Spy books, um, which they've been around forever, so I know you know what those are all about. Um, you just have the bright, colorful pictures, um, and then you have to find the different things hidden in the picture. But I paid 50 cents, $12.95. So... That is the end of my giant stack. Um, as you can see, I mean, this is just books. 
look at this giant stack of books. <laughs> and that's um, in addition to the uh, the Blu-rays and the DVDs and the music CD and the Wii game and all that. So, and I think my total was like seventeen seventy-five or something like that. So, I mean, as I said, I think I'm going to be a major um, uh, library book sale junkie now because I have discovered this whole new world of getting new books for the kids for virtually free. I mean, what is a quarter? I mean, we spend more than a quarter. I mean, my goodness, you go to the coffee shop or Starbucks or something, you're spending 4 or $5 on a coffee that'll last you 10 minutes. I mean, this is... 25 cents versus four or five bucks on a coffee. Uh, spend 25 cents on a book that they'll look at for ages. So I did pick up a list <laughs> of all, all the different locations that are having their sales and there's more coming up um, in these spring months here. So I think I'm going to be expanding our library a lot here coming up. So um, I do want to thank you for watching this. I know it's a little bit different than what you're used to seeing on my channel, but maybe, maybe you caught your eye on a couple good books that you may want for your little ones. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions or anything about the library book sales, um, I can try and answer, but I'm sure if you contact your local library, you can find out um, when they will be having one. Because I think pretty much every library location has like a Friends of the Library organization, and it's how they raise money to buy new books. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.